What's up you guys, it's Antonio back at it again with another vlog. We got great news. So, as you guys know, I have a 1991 Toyota MR2. Well, it died back in June, I believe, and we're gonna be making a comeback. You guys are gonna see how, picking up something that is absolutely great. I can't wait to get the car back on the road. I'll fill you guys in once we get there. So, this is Jeremy's 93 MR2. It's currently getting a big, beast right behind him but today I'm getting this this is a gen 2 3s GTE it's basically 100% stock besides some minor bolt-ons but has a hundred what you said 159 thousand miles technically uh, 159 yeah. yeah so 160 just to round it up and that's going to be bringing the MR2 back to life and back on the channel so we're going to the turbo it's a small turbo. I might upgrade it later. I don't know. But I guess horsepower range for this is 315, 325 compared to Jeremy's. He has pictures all opened up and everything, but this motor, he's shooting for 1400 horsepower to the crank. So that's about 1200 wheel. And he has that big turbo, which is nice. I wouldn't mind running a big turbo like that. Yeah, his car is super clean. Big BBSs. I've always I've always liked this style of hood. I've always liked that. Yeah, it's pretty rare. There's only a couple of them out there. And yours is a little bit more rare with the tan interior too. With the yeah. tan seats. Mm-hmm. It was original. <clears throat> Those are original? I mean the interior is not original, it's been restored, but Yeah. It but it came like that. It came with black and tan interior, yeah. Dang, that's awesome. Yeah, his interior is clean. Yeah, he's big brake kit, wide body, and then it's going to be running a 2GR, which is going to be monstrous. So, I'm back here at Jeremy's. It's currently Sunday the next week. Motor is all taken apart. He took it apart last night. There's the block. Look at that old school Where? tech logo. That's sick. But the block is in super good condition. I don't know if you guys can see that. This shit is super rad. Yeah, you really can't see it on camera, but everything's all clean. Valve cover, intake manifold, all the other shit. The head is what's really surprising. It's super clean. Jeremy was going over this all last night. You can still see the rings just perfect. Camshaft perfect. Or crankshaft. Camshafts are good. So it's going to be a lot of cleaning today. We're going to go to Jeremy's little secret place and go get a sandblaster and pressure washer so we can just start cleaning everything. Lots of cleaning today, so... Yeah. Oh, another thing I wanted to show you guys is the pistons. So we took out the pistons, we're replacing everything. So, as you can see, there's only minor detonation right there. Everything else is pretty clean. For 156,000 miles, that's not bad. Everything else is pretty good too in here, so I'm pretty excited. Oil pump's pretty good, but still replacing that because it's old, so. Jeremy, this is his intake manifold, and this thing is freaking huge. He said forage inlet right now. Yeah, it's 102 millimeters, which is about four inches. Oh, this is Jeremy. Say hi, Jeremy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> he didn't think his water neck all the way through, so it's kind of just that contraption. God, this thing is huge. Yeah, I plan. That's a nice finish on it too. The throttle body is going to be right here, obviously. It's going to, and and the, G, the GM LS throttle body is not very deep. So it's only going to be like that. And my plan was, I want the intercooler, literally, is going to be vibrant clamped to the, to the throttle body. And then it's just going to come straight across to here, where my turbo is going to sit over where the normal intake is. Mm -hmm. The turbo is going to sit there, and it's going to be, literally, there's going to be no piping. The turbo is going to be mounted right with it with another vibrant clamp right into the other side of the intercooler there'll be no piping at all and if you guys don't know what turbo he's running he's running that big borg warner over there 
So, just tons of boost throughout this 2GR. Yeah, Jeez. I'm actually adding a second turbo. Jeez. Oh, so you're in twins. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, I remember, I remember. Yeah, but there's no way to fit them underneath the V. I, I, I tried, I, I tried holding up that turbo. I tried holding up a smaller turbo up inside the cavity in here. There's just no way. By the time I get the AC compressor on, and on the other side, I get the axle in, there's just... It's, it's a tight space, especially in one of these, like... Way too tight. The engine bay in these, they're not the most roomiest. They're roomy for what it is. I'll give it that. It's roomy for what it is, but this is your workspace when it comes in. And it isn't much, and it's a pain in the ass. So, I don't know. I'm really excited to see this thing come together once it's done. So... All right, so we just got back from other place, got the sandblaster, parts washer, engine stand, and uh, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm actually gonna be sandblasting the intake manifold, the valve cover, and probably some mounts so I can get those painted and make them looking nice. So I'm gonna be setting up a couple time lapses of me just cleaning shit, I guess, since Jeremy did all the dirty work. Jerk. <laughs> But we're going to replace the uh, Lexan glass and the sandblaster really quick. And uh, so we can actually see. I don't know if you can't see anything in there. So, yep, we're going to get started.
tip, you guys. It's day three of cleaning process. It was going to be teardown process, but Jeremy did that if you guys don't remember. So what we are going to be doing, or at least what I'm going to be doing, I am going to be cleaning more of the parts and I'm going to start pick, uh, primary and everything and start painting everything so everything is ready to go. So I am going to set you guys down really quick. I got a lot to dig out and yeah, actually admire Jeremy's 2GR. That's coming a long way. All right, so I had to run to O'Reilly's really quick. I had to pick up some aircraft paint remover. What I'm going to be doing is taking off the paint, off the valve cover, and I'm going to be spraying it. I think I'm going to spray this black, and then in red, where it says Toyota, do that in red. So, and then I'm going to be primering the intake manifold and some of the other brackets and stuff. So, I'm going to set you guys up on the process. I'm going to start removing this paint. And yeah. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna spray some of this, some of the surface parts that I'm taping with brake parts cleaner, dry them off, clean them, and start taping everything up. Get it ready to primer this so I can start painting. I cleaned it off with brake spark cleaner. I said 15 minutes. I know it hasn't been 15 minutes, but I don't know if it's working. Hmm. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. Update you once that is ready. I'm gonna start prepping some other parts. So yeah, I'll catch you guys here in a second. So I started taping up some of the decals on this valve cover. I noticed there's slight cracking right there. It's gonna bug me, but I mean fuck it but I started taping up that sticker I know it's a little jank but timing belt service sticker attention to detail there was like a torque like head torque 
uh, sticker there, but that's irrelevant since you're going head studs. Or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just having fun doing this. So I'm going to primer this. And then I'm going to spray it with gloss black. Let's take a look at that. It's, I, I don't know what's going on here. It's been about 15, 20 minutes. So I'm going to start rubbing all this off and see what's going on underneath. So I might have to do another coat, maybe, who knows. So yeah, I'm going to update you guys once I wipe it all off. I have not updated you guys one bit. I'm still letting that sit for a little bit longer. For some reason I don't trust it for right now, but I can always come back to that. Started priming the intake manifold and timing cover gasket. And it's coming out pretty solid. So, yeah, I'm going to start spraying this with black. Yeah. So hopefully it all turns out well. Oh, look at that. Currently finishing up editing the vlog and I realize I didn't end it. So I'm gonna end it here. Um, I know I really didn't go into much detail on this one as I thought I wanted to. I didn't get the footage I want. So um, the next vlog, it will be pretty detailed. I mean, you know what? I'll just, you guys will see. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, keep riding.